Hello Delicious peeps, what's up? This is your buddy JC and welcome to Delicious Life. And of course, in this video, we're gonna be doing some tech stuff. And welcome to our Techie Tuesday, because it's Tuesday here in my location. <laughs> and today I have a very interesting tip, a very cheap tip for everyone who wants to use their Canon DSLR camera as their webcam of their PC when doing uh, live streaming, particularly YouTube live stream. You can use this for Twitch as well, StreamYard, what else? Zoom meeting, Skype, almost everything and that will only cost you five dollars or five pounds with that being said let's roll the intro does this actually make me look a little bit tacky <laughs> no i'm just trying to cover my eye bags anyways if you're new in the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe now and click the bell all button for instant notification and like this video and share this to those who needs this as well well in this channel we're doing like fun stuff vlog travel stuff and also tech stuff and so we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing some tech stuff on a consumer side of things so in this video as i told you i'm gonna show you how to cheaply use your Canon DSLR camera for video conferencing and some sort of streaming online. So back when I was thinking about doing live stream, as many of my friends are requesting me to do YouTube live stream, I want to provide them a high quality video. And I know that that is only possible if I'm going to be using a little more decent camera. And what I have is only my holiday camera. This is a Canon EOS 200D, a very basic start up camera and then I learned that I need to buy like a video capture device or video capture device and the most common one is called and most reliable as well according to those who uses it is the Camly and I think if I'm not mistaken it was like 400 pounds at least here in the UK and then here's the thing Canon just released a software or a driver for you to use or for us to use our DSLR camera as our webcam or as our live stream camera and the only thing we need is a five dollar cable or a five pounds cable this one right so this is a thunderbolt usb cable because this is what i need for my sort of camera for my model of camera but for those most dated most recent uh, cameras you might be needing to use a usb 2.0 with the other one not thunderbolt usb or micro usb but a usb c tip or end and it doesn't matter as long as you have the appropriate cable suggested by the manufacturer or by the model of your camera that will do so again the only thing you need is a software this is not even an application that you need to start up over and over again whenever you want to use it you will just have to download it one time and that's it that will go right so the only thing you need to do is go to this website EOS webcam utility so this one is USA Canon I don't know I think we don't have the UK yet I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you can direct yourself to the site easily so click that link usa.canon.com you know, and so forth and you will be directed to this website called EU EOS webcam utility and this is a beta issue or version yet so expect some you know glitches and I have encountered one uh, and I'll tell you about it later so just scroll down do some sort of do some sort of uh, reading here because the instructions is uh, written here on the web page select your model then drivers and download downloads but I'll show it to you so for me for me what I did is click I did click for me what I did is I clicked on EOS Rebel SL2 or this is also known as the EOS 200D so you will be directed here okay automatically it will be selected as drivers and downloads software of course and you'll just have to download this first one on the list eos webcam utility beta 0.9.0 for windows so select and da -da -da -da, have a read and download and install it that's how simple it is so once you want to use once you need to use your dsr camera as your webcam it will automatically be shown as one of the options together with the integrated webcam of the computer and then the other one select the other selection is the us webcam utility beta so that's how simple i ordered this on amazon and i'm gonna put the link in the description below for the uh, store where I bought it and this is quite reliable as well and let me show you how to do this
So as you can see guys, we are now on Zoom and I'm using the integrated webcam. Let's enable the HD, what this can do. So let's just zoom it out, but it's not HD or high definition for me, I would say. Let's now try the EOS webcam utility beta. Boom! And this is what you got. This is what you got. This is what you got. <laughs> See the difference? This is quite different, guys. If you notice, look at the uh, definition. This is high definition, I would say. Yeah, see? Autofocus function of your camera will be useful, of course. And what I like the most is the fact that you can zoom it in and zoom it out. See? Hmm? So it's not nice and you can do this not only on Zoom but also like on StreamYard, YouTube streaming. Very simple, nothing else to do. We just You just have to select EOS Webcam Utility Beta. I don't have to show it to you actually because this is quite more unfriendly, I would say. Now, earlier I talked about one problem I encountered the first time I was using this and that was because I have like a Canon web, not this uh, Webcam Utility Beta. It's like sort of camera webcam software an application actually not software yes application software I don't know I'm not very techy yes so the problem was I have that installed and um, it's like it's stealing okay the bandwidth that this software is needing for me to be able to use this so what I simply did was to uninstall that application because I don't need it anyway I thought that's what I needed for me to use this as, as a webcam but no it's just like a remote monitor in the PC not like a streaming app or streaming software so to speak so that's it guys very simple isn't it one time installation and then plug and play the usb whenever you need it then you're happy you're ready to go and if you have any questions any uh, recommendations or if there's any better solution for this thing put it in the comment section below and please do share this for those who you think might be needing this so i hope you find this quite interesting and helpful guys if you haven't subscribed yet i want to do more of this video in my channel and i know somehow even i'm not very very techy i'll be able to help some people out there to learn something on some basic stuff again if you haven't subscribed yet consider punching punching that subscribe button now and of course i'll see you on the next one peace again let's try this <laughs> So here's the thing, if you're going to use your DSLR camera as your web camera or live streaming camera, you want it to last for hours, right? Not only for one, two hours, but more than that, especially if you're a game streamer. Now I will show you the trick for your camera to last longer, okay, than five, four hours, probably more than 24 hours so that you will not run out of battery. Of course, it's a shame if your streaming will be stopped simply because your battery was drained. So I'll show you why I did my solution for that so that I am now able to uh, stream as long as I can not worrying about my battery running out while I'm streaming. So again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing now and click the bell button. Always remember to share a smile and spread the love because life is delicious. See you in the next one. Yeah.